Mali taking on Cote d'Ivoire. The horse are through to the quarterfinals. I don't know what they're doing here. These people are supposed to be out a long time ago. I will still not pick them to win this game. I want Mali to win this game. Simply because Mali are just adept. They have a style of play. They've stuck to it throughout the entire tournament. They have not tried new things. The one thing about Cote d'Ivoire is when they fire their coach, obviously the new coach comes in. The one thing Senegal did not know about Cote d'Ivoire, there was an element of surprise, right? Which... Again, I, I I didn't see it. I'm not saying that they should have seen it, but um, that's the beauty about an element of surprise. You don't see it coming. Yeah, you don't know how he's going to set up. You don't know who he's going to start with. Mali, it's been very straightforward. You have shown how you play. You like possessing the ball. You're not the quickest up front, so you play a lot um, of uh, high press, trying to win the ball quite high, and you the um, the leg jig 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 Diara, the goalkeeper, joined the back three to make it a back four as Hamari Traore pushes forward. Like, they have a very distinct way of play. And it has shown, they've shown that it works. They start halves quickly. They started the first half quickly. They, the last game they scored within the first two minutes of the first half, one minute and three seconds in the second half, they start really quickly. Um, up front, we're looking at uh, Sinayoko, who has been on fire. He has three goals in four games. Obviously, Hamari Traore coming off the wing. Uh, Mohamed Kamara. It'll be interesting to see if Amadou Diara is fit for this one, but I still believe they just they're just quite solid as a unit. As for as for Cote d'Ivoire, I think their the coach played his hand in terms of now we know we know how he likes to set up because it's a new coach, right? We know how he likes to set up. He's probably going to uh, start with Sangare and Seko Fofana and drop um, or rather he might start with Seko Fofana. And 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 I don't know he'll start with Sangare. I think he'll, I believe he'll start with Sangare. And then you start with Kessie off the bench. When you start with Sekofana and Kessie, and it's not as it's not as settled in midfield. And that's where Jean Michael Seri actually came on um, in the last game. Crasso up front was okay. Pepe really came on and changed the game last time around. Won the penalty to make it one one and just caused a lot of havoc for the Senegalese defense. Um, Max Gradel should not start. Please, please, kindly. Max Gradel has, like, you can just see, the guy just looks, I don't know, he, he just looks old. If you want to have a chance, well, I want Mali to win, so start Max Gradel. <laughs> just start him. Um, Serge Aurier, again, the captain, who's also on the verge of moving to Turkey, by the way. Uh, today is deadline day, so he might be confirmed uh, in a few minutes. I'm not too sure, but um, Dika the back, we need him to be looking um, solid because this Mali team is going to pass, 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 pass. For this game, I'm going for a Mali win 2 1 after extra time. It's going to be a violent game. There's going to be cards, there's going to be yellow cards, and I'm more than sure that someone might actually get sent off in this game. But I'm going for a Mali 2 1 win after extra time.